in this video I'm going to show you how to use DVD shrink on Linux so if you haven't watched my video on how to install a program in wine then I suggest you do so okay so first open up applications and go to wine programs and DVD shrink and then DVD shrink 3.2 or whatever um, version you have installed and it'll take a little bit longer for this program to open up okay now we have DVD shrink and as you can see it's a Windows program so now we'll insert a disk you could have done this before you opened up DVD shrink it doesn't really matter and then we will go to open disk might want to wait for your disk to get mounted first. Okay, now we can see it's mounted. So now we can open disk and it'll be right there. And I just picked a random disk. Select OK. I like to disable the video preview. And so we will just wait for this to finish decrypting or realizing and now our analyzing is almost done so we'll just let this finish up and now it'll have your main your menus main movie and unreferenced that's not usually there and so you if you want to do full disk it'll give you everything there and you can just stop that if you click full disk it'll play but um if you want to do the full disk you just click full disk and then back up but if that is if you want to burn it but if you want to um play back on your computer and just the uh one or like full disk does menus everything and then reauthor it does just what you want so i'm going to do reauthor this goes a lot faster too and then just do main movie and you'll usually have more titles than this it's just the uh... well actually you'll have more titles but what only one will be one hour but this is a pretty long dvd so it has two and so with this now you can click on the ones you want so just double click that and double click that And then what you will do is click backup. And then you can select a hard disk folder. And this, you can select your region. I, you should probably just do region free. Quality, I don't really mess with that. Um, and so then you can browse for where you want to put it. I'll just put it in my documents or desktop. Desktop usually works well. And then you can do this if you're burning a DVD. And so then you'll hit OK. 
and it'll start. So once this finishes, you'll have an entire movie or your entire DVD. And so I hope you can break the law a little bit. Hope this helps you break the law a little bit by actually ripping the DVD's content onto your computer. So what do you do? Go get fines. But yeah, as long as you're not selling it, it's okay.